Emma and today I'm going to be filming the teacher does my voiceover video. In my last video, 16 awkward moments in school, I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. I asked you guys if you'd like to see my teacher, Mr. Lavelle, do my voiceover because if you watch the video, you know he's extremely hilarious and I think he would be absolutely perfect for this video. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Quick disclaimer before I get started, I am in no way a makeup artist. I just apply my makeup in a way that works for me. So I'm sorry if you're like really into makeup and I apply something wrong. This is just what works for me personally. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, makeup tutorial step one. You get a golf ball, you cut it in half, it has this moisturizing cream in the inside. The next part is to get some chocolate sauce that you can put in milk and you just put on your face and I'd like to try to draw some of the constellations, maybe the big dipper or the little dipper or the belt of Orion and then just basically slap yourself silly on the face. Just slap your cheeks all about and your forehead and try to get some blood flow going to your capillaries and around the facial area of your eyes and mouth and ears and nose and uh, go back to the same sauce. I like to do it twice. You can do this as many times as you want. Usually I stop at two or three times, but uh, after that you put more. So what I got here is a Halloween sock. <clears throat> I found this on the ground, I balled it up and you can see it's orange and you just kind of really whack your chin with it like, and you make your lips kind of shake as you do it and you have to get everywhere. Uh, I'm reading a book right here in this scene. It's called uh, Pro. It's by an author, one of my favorite French authors named Lorac. And you can read as you do the makeup. Just make sure that you get it all over the place. Uh, don't forget under the eyes. As you can see, I'm constantly doing the, that eye area. And then uh, you can go over there right by your hair too. You know, if you use the right shade, it's okay to make it look like your stylist or your uh, professional barber maybe did a little bit of a highlight around that type of the hair. And then people, people won't know that it's actually makeup. So as you can see, we're trying to get everywhere from the jawline below the neck even here. Uh, the next thing is, remember that class you had in fourth grade art class and they gave you a glue stick? Well, I kept mine. And I just rub it all in the areas that the makeup sometimes doesn't stick to so that it will it will stick on there. And then uh, when I was a kid, I also had some toys and this was like one of those My Little Ponies uh, farmer squeeze toys and this is a grape and it seems to work out perfectly because it, it helps the equal distribution of all the uh, moisturizers and uh, the certain types of chemicals that, as you can say, squeeze it right there. If there was noise right here, it actually makes a squeezy noise um, and it drives my, my pets wild because they think I want to play. But, you know, you just kind of kind of go all over the place. If you don't like it, you go back. Um, here's, you guys know what this is. This is my favorite brush. I don't have to tell you what you do with here. This is unicorn hair. Uh, my great great grandmother bought it for me. Uh, bought it, bought it for me back in when she was in Paris a long, long time ago. Uh, at the end of each of these brushes, there's little pin things and woo! Oh, Nelson, good zoom tight. God bless me. Sometimes it gets in your nose and it just makes you sneeze. But you know, if you put your makeup on right, you won't ruin it. So as you can see, I'm just kind of battering my cheek with this stuff and if you make this face it helps you spread it out evenly and it gets inside all those crevasses and crev creases that are in your face. I like to make it look like I have a fish mouth. Uh, Captain Nemo was my favorite movie and uh, look at boom. So I just want to remind you guys that the whole goal of the makeup putting on makeup is so that your friends or your parents or the guy you know the cute guy in class when he sees you he is like who who are you? You want to totally make it look like you're about 15 years older than you are. And then when you get older, you want to make it like you're 15 years younger. So that's the whole goal of makeup. You can choose a lot of colors. I like this one here on the top for my eyes. <clears throat> you know, you just get it in there. It, you have to use the kind that it's okay to get in your eyes. Uh, you know, and it makes you, if you get the right type of chemicals in it, it will swell up all your joints in there and it will look like you got stung by a bee. So sometimes that's a good look. This is a very dangerous part of the makeup tutorial. I'm just letting you know. You have to make a small incision with a scalpel right above your eye, eye hair area. Your eyes have hair in two spots and these are scissors. You just clipped off the split ends. Girls, you know what it's like to get those split ends. Boom, snip them off and so that they're all perfectly straight. And then you just take this brush and this brush uh, has bristles at the end of it and it will remove all the excess makeup from the last time you put it on 
And you don't want to you don't want to put makeup on makeup. You want to put makeup on eye lash hair. So remove it all. It's kind of scraping the bottom of a ship, like scraping the barnacles from a hull of a ship. Final step, I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end here, is you pick a color that's totally opposite of everything you've put on. And that's what you put underneath your eyes. And you just get a pin, just a regular pin like you use in school, and you just dip it in the dip it in that purple, and then you just kind of brush it. You don't even want to know if you got it on there. That's how light we're doing it. You know, so you don't want to smear it on there and you get underneath it again and spread it around left, left, up, down, left, right, up, down, down, down. That's the pattern I like to follow. And then at the very end, you want to make these eyebrows really pop. So we're going to use a dark color. As you can see, I always start on my right eyebrow, work its way down. Sometimes I stop there if I want people to really, really notice me. I don't do the other eyebrow. And then I can tell the, my, who my real friends are if they notice that I didn't do my left. But today, I'm going to go and do both of them. Uh, you know, you want to go up all the way down. Don't connect them in the middle. Step. That's a very, that's what an amateur move if you connect your eyebrows in the middle. And this is a very emotional process for me. So the last thing is to spritz yourself with water. It's been emotional. Goodbye, guys. Alright guys, so that was Teacher Does My Voiceover. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a lot harder to do than I thought because I didn't have like my big mirror right in front of me. But I got through it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.